So today's video is about finding the volume of cubes and rectangular prisms. So what is volume? Volume is the number of cubes you can fit on the inside of a 3D figure. So let's watch a short illustration of volume so you can have a better understanding of uh, what volume is. So if we look here at this figure, we have this rectangular prism or this cube here. And we want to look and see how many sugar cubes can fit in the bottom. So we're going to play this video. And as you'll notice, they're dropping the sugar cubes on the inside. And we're trying to see how many of these sugar cubes can we fit on the inside. So the first thing we want to look at is how many cubes did it take just to fit the bottom layer. And if we count, it took nine sugar cubes just to fit the bottom layer. Then we want to look at how many layers it's going to take in order for us to fill up the entire cube. So we know it's going to take nine cubes just to fill the bottom. And it's going to take us three layers of those nine cubes to fill the entire rectangular prism. So right here you see the second layer going in. And then here is the third layer going in. So it took us three layers of nine cubes to fill up the entire cube. So then the question is, well, how many total unit cubes were needed in order to fill in this polyhedron or basically this cube? So it really took us a total of 27 because we had nine on the first row, nine on the second row, and nine on the third row. So there are 27 cubes. So we would say that the volume of this cube is 27. So remember, volume is the number of cubes it takes to fill the inside of a 3D shape. So how do you find volume? Well, the first step to find volume is to find the area of the base of the figure. So no matter what figure you're looking at, every figure has a base. So you have to first find how big is the base. So you'll start by finding the area. After you have found the area of the base, the second step is to multiply the area of the base by the height of the figure. So you have to multiply the area of the base by how tall that figure is. So once you find the area of the base, the second step is to multiply it by the height. Now there's also a formula for volume for a cube and a rectangular prism. And the formula for volume is you multiply the length times the width and then you multiply that times the height. Or in another way you can say you multiply the area of the base and we know length times width does give us the area of a shape. It gives us the area of a rectangle or the area of a, um, of a square. So we'll do length times width and that's the area of the base and then multiply that by height. So basically these two formulas are the same. It's just two ways of saying um, the same thing basically. So let's find the volume of this cube. So the first thing we want to look at is we want to look at how big the cube is. So the cube has a side of 7. And the one thing we know about a cube is all of the sides are the same. All of the faces are the same. So that means if this has a side of 7, that means all of them have a side of 7. So we're going to start by finding the area of the base, which is basically <clears throat> one side of the cube. So to find the area of one side of the cube, we have to multiply the length of the cube times the width. And because it's a square, the length and the width will be the same. So the length will be 7 and the width will be 7, which means the area of one square is 49 inches squared. Now step two is that we need to multiply the area of the base, which is 49. We just found that, the area of one side. And then we need to multiply that by the height of the cube. And the one thing that we know about a cube is since all the sides are the same, that means not only is the length and the width 7, but the height is 7 as well. So we're going to multiply the area of the base, 49, by the height, which is 7, which gives us a volume of 343 inches cubed. Now you'll notice that instead of our unit being to the second power like it was when we did area, now <clears throat> our, um, our unit is to the third power. And that's because we're looking at three different um, dimensions. We're looking at the base, we're looking at the height, I mean we're looking at the length, the width, and we're looking at the height. So when you're talking about volume, your unit will be to the third power. 
So let's find the volume of this rectangular prism. So we know that the length of the rectangular prism is 11 centimeters. We know that the width of the rectangular prism is 3 centimeters. And we know that the height of the rectangular prism is 6 centimeters. Now this time we're going to use the other formula. Because remember I told you there were two different ways that you can find volume. They're basically the same, but just kind of two different ways of looking at it. So this time we're going to use the formula length times width times height. So they gave us the length of the rectangular prism. They also gave us the width and they gave us the height. So really it's just a matter of us evaluating the expression and plugging our numbers in. So we're going to plug in 11 for the length, then we're going to plug in 6 for the width, and then we're going to plug in 3 for the height and multiply all three of those together, which means that our volume will be 198 centimeters cubed. And remember, our unit this time is to the third power. Now, sometimes you won't be given a picture. They'll just give you um, a description of the shape in words. And you, you, again, will have to find the volume. Well, we have a cube here. So we, our example is that we want to find the volume of a cube with a side length of 16. So we know that we have a cube. And we know that the side is 16. Well, we have to think about what do we know about a cube. Well, all the sides are the same. That means the length is 16, the width is 16, and the height is 16. So if we use the formula length times width times height, we're simply going to multiply 16 times 16 times 16, which means the volume of that cube will be 4,096 feet cubed. And remember, feet will be to the third power. Our fourth example. We want to find the volume of a box with a length of 5 inches, a width of 8 inches, and a height of 7 inches. So now we have a box, a, a rectangular prism basically, and they've given us the length, they've given us the width, and they've given us the height. So in order for us to find the volume, again we'll use the formula length times width times height. We'll plug in 5 for the length, 8 for the width, and 7 for the height which means that our area will be 280 inches cubed. So the main thing to remember with volume is one, what is volume? And volume is the space inside of a 3D shape. It's how many cubes you can fit on the inside of a 3D shape. And there's two ways that you can find volume. The first way you can find volume is simply using the formula length times width times height. And the second way is to find the area of the base of that shape and multiply it by the height.